this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install a pre-created virtual machine. We, we usually, think, usually call them images because it's a single snapshot or an image or something that you are downloading and they make them run. And there are two virtualization systems that we use, obviously, VirtualBox and VMware, and they have different standards. Microsoft have yet another one. Um, so VirtualBox uses VDI to save the hard drives because what we are going to do is we're going to download the entire hard drive of the system that has been prepared and you can then boot it up and then you have whatever OS you want, quick and easy. And we're also going to look at VMware that uses VMDK. Now, if you got a VDI file or a VMDK file and you wanted to use it in each of the other ones, there are ways to convert them either within the software or with third party tools. So it's not impossible, even the Windows stuff you can convert, but let's get cracking. So the first video I'm gonna show you is how to install or open up or use pre-made VMs or images in VirtualBox. Now to do that, we're gonna to go to the resources section and you will see there's a link for VirtualBox, but you would have installed that by now and then a link to OS boxes and VirtualBox images. Now they have similar things. I'm gonna use OS boxes because they cater for both VMware and VirtualBox, but if you just want VirtualBox, you can use this one. Um, I'm gonna open it up. And you will then be able to select the virtual machine that you want. Now, this is very slow today. So while we wait, I am going to do VirtualBox first. So let's launch VirtualBox along. And what I've done is I have downloaded a file from OS Boxes from here uh, when it worked earlier today. I'm not sure if it's my internet, but it's fine. I'm also uploading things, so maybe that's it. Um, so let's get started. Once you've downloaded, you've decided now what um, operating system you want, and it'll be a whole list of them. I downloaded them into my downloads folder. Let me just find it. I think I moved it by now. No, here we go. So one of them that I downloaded was Deepin Linux, and the other one I've already moved to my documents folder where I do my virtual machine things, um, but I've placed them on the images. So for VirtualBox, we are gonna look at Linux Mint, and in the next video for VMware, we are going to look at Deep and Linux. And as you can see, these got saved as what they call a VMware the virtual disk image file. So Windows is smart enough for that. If you look at the properties of this, um, you will see it's a VMDK file. So that's your clue. You know it's for VMware. And if you look at the other one, it'll say virtual disk image. Um, so it's a little more generic. You'll see it's a VDI file. Then you know, ah, this is for VirtualBox. So it's a quick way to check what it's for. Right, so how do I use it? Well, I'm gonna say new machine. And it's gonna ask me, what do I want? I'm gonna say Mint. Well, I'm gonna call it Mint, or Linux Mint actually. Let's be formal. It's gonna ask me, do I want to save things there? I think I've got a different directory for it. So let me just find it. It'll be in Documents, VirtualBox, uh, select a folder. There we go. So it's going to save it there. It's just me. You don't have to do that. I'm going to say Expert Mode because we are not going to install from an ISO. And now it undid everything I did. That's fine. So we're going to say use an existing virtual hard disk file. It's picking up the Windows 10 audit file there, but we're not going to use that. I'm just going to call it Linux Mint again. And it's smart enough to know that Linux is based on Debian and the closest version to that that it has is Ubuntu, so it's fine. I'm only gonna give it a gig of memory, that's fine. Now, I wanna change this directory again, just so it saves in the right place for me. Right, so it's gonna save in there. And now I need to point it at the VDI file that we downloaded from Oh, it's Xbox. Let's open it now. The site might be slow today. But anyway, you'll it'll look. Let's just try this one as well, just to see if it's working or not. Okay, so maybe there's something wrong with OS boxes today. Here you can see 
different versions. Once you click on something, it'll take it to the download page, you download it, you'll probably need to extract it with something like 7-zip or WinRAR or WinZip, and then you can get going. So let's get back to this. Right, so I want to add a virtual hard drive now to this Linux Mint. Obviously, that's my Pi disk VDI. I'm not going to use that. It's a Windows one. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to say Add. And it can then, it's going to ask me to choose the disk file. So that's quite easy because I know I already downloaded it. So I'm going to go to my Downloads folder for this. It's VirtualBox, Linux Mint. There it is. I'm going to say Open. And now I will be able to use this as a, a, a disk. You see, it's quite big, so you need to keep that in mind. So if you, um, the virtual size, it can grow up to that size. The actual size is just that, so it's fine. Let's say choose. And then you're basically going to click Create. And there's Linux Mint. So it's Linux Mint. It's got the amount of memory that I gave it, which is, I think is just one gig, so you can still choose that. You can still choose how you want it to virtualize. You can choose your netting. Um, so I'm choosing net for that thing. And the hard drive is now. So if I click start, it should um, start. And then it should show me a fully running and configured Linux Mint operating system. So why would you want to do this? Well, if you don't want to install something from scratch, or maybe you don't know what or where to do it, this is a quick way to get your hands on a pre-created VM. Um, it's also a nice way for us as teachers to prepare an environment and say, hey, we've made this server, we've made this desktop, please open it up in the following software. You're going to use it for this or that. So it's a nice controlled way to get things going quicker than having to install something from scratch. Um, the obviously you need to be sure when you get a virtualization machine from somebody that you trust them because you haven't installed anything in the back end. Uh, I've just lost connection to my Windows server. Let's give that a few seconds just to wake up. Uh, sorry about that. It looks like my no machine. Uh, remote desktop service is having a few hiccups today, so I've swapped to VNC. It's not as slick, but it does get the job done. Right, so OS boxes. Uh, usually the password is also osboxes.org. And this should give me Linux Mint within a few seconds. There we go. Obviously, it needs to do specific setup because my uh, system is different than the one that was created on. So you can follow the prompts, you can go through all the stuff. But in a nutshell, it will give me Linux from a single download pre-configured, which is really pretty awesome if you think about it. It's a quick way to get something up and running. So I'm going to end this video, and then in the next video, we're going to do the same, but for VMware Workstation.